we we were talking about uh, putting videos in and I said I had a different option from actually dra dragging a video file in so uh, I've got a new blank page here and I'm going to use a little tool called um, iBooks generator which is right here uh, this is iBooksGenerator.com. okay all one word in the URL uh, what this does is this allows you to embed a YouTube video in or a Vimeo video or actually a, a Google map if you'd like to add it so to really begin with YouTube we're going to pick a video so this is a video that I did on one of my books and I'm going to come up here and highlight the URL and I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to open up this tab at iBooks generator I'm going to paste it in now notice it says here must be in the form format HTTP okay well um, since they created this site YouTube's gone to HTTPS so I'm a, so I have to go in here and put my cursor right there and s get that S out of there so it's HTTP I'm going to click generate and it's downloading a YouTube uh, bundle so what I'm going to do is click here and uh, look at these in the finder and you'll see I have this YouTube bundle as a zip file I'm going to double click it like that and it's going to unzip it and now I have a widget but you really should rename the widget because it's going to give every widget the same name uh, so I'm going to write in Japan town demo like that okay so now I've got this open I'm just gonna slide this over here I'm gonna go to my um, iBooks author and make this active and you notice I'm gonna drag this widget in <coughs> and so what I've done is I've actually um, added the video but um, it's actually not residing in the book it's kind of a it's kind of a placeholder for a video which means that someone who's using the book would have to be on Wi-Fi or on the internet but it also means that you've taken up virtually no space in your book and uh, best of all you've used YouTube and you haven't had to go out and shoot or edit your own video